Welcome, I'm Dr. Barinholtz, uh, joining Dr. Lippi, who's going to discuss management of the floating foot plate in stapedectomy. The floating foot plate was seen more often 10, 15, 20 years ago than it is now. And the reason is the laser. Now you can avoid the floating, the floating foot plate in many cases with the use of the laser. But you know, all of us, uh, at one time or another, uh, put a hole in the foot plate, either with a needle or with a laser, uh, fracture off the superstructure, and then remove the foot plate. Now, in many cases, the foot plate becomes mobile during that fracturing. Now, if you use a laser, then in many cases, even though the foot plate is entirely mobile, you are able to use your laser and get a hole in it. But sometimes you can't. Uh, sometimes, for example, it's too thick for a laser. Other times the anatomy prevents, prevents the use of it, so you can't remove it. There was some bad stuff in the literature years ago. They said if you can't remove the foot plate, uh, let a blood clot form and see if you can remove the whole clot. Another bad in bit of information was that do promontory drilling and pry out the foot plate. That was bad. So what we've done for years, and we still occasionally do, much less often because we use a laser, but we, if we have a foot plate that's floating, whether it be blue or white, we place a vein graft over it and put in a prosthesis. If the foot plate is blue, our statistics show a 97% success rate. And of course, they have no vestibular symptoms because you haven't removed the foot plate. These patients do extremely well. If the foot plate is white, meaning thicker, 50% of them will be successful and never refix. If they refix, you can go back with a laser and then remove the, the foot plate if you can. So we definitely advocate that in a floating foot plate, put down a graft and put a prosthesis over it. From this, you, you can derive several other conclusions. One is uh, that if pieces of foot plate come loose and are floating in the perilymph, never try to retrieve them. You know, we have a uh, great, let me say that sentence again. We, we put all of our, our surgery results on computer. And we have some 70 factors that we use when we're in the middle ear that we can code. And one of them, for example, is pieces of foot plate that are floating in the perilymph. Don't remove them. These patients will not have any more vestibular symptoms. You can only cause havoc by going after pieces, even whole foot plates. We have lost whole foot plates into the perilymph. I can think of one patient who didn't do well. Actually, that wasn't a foot plate, that was a piece of instrument. So if you have small pieces of foot plate in the perilymph, <clears throat> if you have your entire foot plate floating in the perilymph, address it just the way I suggested. Put, a, put in a graft, a prosthesis, and if it's blue, it's gonna, you're going to have a great result in 97% of the cases. If it's white, 50% of the cases, but none of them will be worse.